Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks to all the 5,000 subscribers, it means a lot to me. If you haven't yet subscribed, kindly do so and hit the bell button to get notified when new videos are posted. My goal is to help you get fully funded scholarships to study abroad. I believe in you. Let's do this together. Hello, so in today's video, I'm going to focus on University of Iowa, which is a university in the US. As usual, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on the the scholarship available as well as the programs they offer for both undergraduate studies and postgraduate studies, so stay with me. As you can see, the first thing you go is to go to Google and type the name of the university. The university website will be the first link you see, so you just have to click on it. One thing I want to show you guys is the acceptance rate is 84%, so you know that at least um, you have a higher chance of getting into this university once you submit a competitive application. So we click on this link and we get to their website let me just go to the main university website i have some tabs open to make things easier so we go to the main university website this is what you see you could take time to read a bit about it but um, what we are looking for right now is to find admissions or academics like that's that's what's of interest to you we have undergraduate admissions and we have graduate admissions I will start with the undergraduate admissions. I already have the tab open, so I'm just going to go there, but you can click undergraduate admissions. And they give you uh, like a general overview of what the university is about, the placement rate once you are done is part of the top 5% um, of universities in the US, so that's, that's really good. You can read about other students telling their stories, but we are here for the money and to get into the university. For undergraduates, you could see like they have they uh, they take like nearly five thousand. So, let's look at uh, undergraduate. You just have to click on it. Um, so now you have to find your majors. What are you interested in? Let's look at the areas of studies they have. Like as you can see, two hundred plus. So to make it easier, you can decide to filter and look at which program is of interest to you, or you could just take your time. And go through it to figure out um, what um, works for you. Once you decide on what you want, you could, let's say you're interested in accounting, you could open that and see what they have. So, accounting, this is the requirements. You need to get this GP in your high school, and you have to write the ACT exams, and you have to score 26 or higher. So it depends, like some schools will require you to write SAT based on the program you want to study, but because this is business, they are interested in the ACT. So just take time and read through, like if this is what you're interested in. And if you're ready to apply, you just have to click the apply now. Let's look at how this stuff looks like, but this is something that you could actually just follow through you just have to just follow on the steps it's taking a while so now let's look at the cost and aid like the scholarship that's what is of interest to us so let's look at the scholarship they offer various scholarships each year to an outstanding undergraduate student based on financial needs academic merit or both so this is good even if you don't have good scores once you can prove your financial need you should be able to get into the school with a scholarship but you have to apply by march 1st to be considered for this kind of scholarship take time and read through like these are all the scholarship opportunities based on the program you want to study they also have some externally funded scholarships the good thing about the us is like even if you go in without a scholarship once you're in the university you could still get a scholarship to work well and get in and let's go so this the apply now is opened so you just have to create a portal and you could follow through so this is the first time you that you create an account this is not the purpose of the video but if you like us to go through an application session just let me know and we could record a video for that so now we are done with the undergraduates we are interested in the graduate admissions i think i already have no, I don't want the scholarship, so I'll just go back again to admissions, graduate admissions. Let's see what they have. Let's look at the degree. Let's look at all the areas of studies. So just like before, tons of programs to 
choose from okay let's go to political science this looks interesting so i click on political science this for a master of art or phd so for international students unfortunately this is the application fee hundred dollars you have to meet the graduate requirements and these are the deadlines um january 7th the only of application for january 7th so it's just two steps you have to pay and submit your documents and these are the documents we need for this program GRE scores are not required so that's good you need application for graduate awards letters of reference three your cv your statement of purpose and a writing sample they tell you exactly what needs to be done for each of them you might need an ielts may also be required so you have the let's have a look at what their requirements are saying so these are the tests you have to score so if you so if you don't you have to submit this course or you could do an english proficiency evaluation on campus you could send them an email to find out so the waiver eligibility if you are from ghana nigeria and some of the english speaking country in tanzania uk netherlands you could get a waiver so that's that's great so we get um IELTS waiver and based on the program you want to study, you might not need to write the exams. Now let's go to what is of interest to us, our cost and funding. So this is a fellowship and assistantship, and this is for all the programs they offer, not necessarily um, the one we looked at political science. So for all the programs they offer in the university, they offer assistantships. So the graduate club provides a wide range of financial assistance to help masters and doctoral students meet education, living, and professional development expenses. We provide close to 20 different internal fellowships opportunities and staff support for students seeking external grants and fellowships. So even if you don't get and you want to see, seek external funding, they offer support for you to get that. So actually, if you have any questions, this is who you have to send an email to. So let's look at the uh, internal fellowship so these are a lot of fellowships you could apply for and this is one thing i want you to see i want to explain to you as you can see some of them is by nomination so the university will have to nominate you to get these scholarships and this is the trick listen this is what you have to do so let's say this is let's look at the iowa arts fellowship so this is a fellowship you are interested in so this is a one year award. You get 2000 fellowship stipend, a scholarship for full tuition and 50% of the mandatory fees as listed. So it's like, it's, it's good, but the catch is you can't apply for teaching area or instructor. Like during your period, you can't apply for any external job opportunities. Only this money should be enough for you. So the minimum requirements is you, you should be a newly admitted student, so, and that's your strongest from these departments so if you're in these departments you can apply for this fellowship so as i said so what you have to do you need a nomination letter from the director of graduate studies and your applications so you can submit your nominations here what you can do is once you submit your documents just send an email to the graduate fellowship or if you are plan to submit apply for the scholarship send an email to this this person and be like i want to apply for this fellowship what are the things i need to consider when preparing my application document they will give you some tips and put it in your documents the thing about studying abroad is anybody is willing to help all you have to do is to ask so as we've already seen we've seen all the we've seen the internal fellowships you can apply for let's look at the external fellowships and grant supports So you could apply for external fellowships. Um, that's not my focus for this, but I just want you to know it's possible to apply for fellowships out of the university. Let's look at the graduate assistantship and loans. So they give you assistantship fellowships and traineeships. So apart from these graduate assistants, you could contact your programs coordinator about funding opportunities within the department please take make good use of this for your program you want to study look for the email of the graduate coordinator 
when you uh, and just send him an email about the funding opportunities there so that's it so this for assistantship tuition scholarships like the number of them you could follow through i hope this video was useful you could be able to follow and apply yourself if you have questions on my channel i've given a lot of resources to prepare your application so if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and till we meet again